Hello guys, what is Zombies? It's Galactic LA bringing you guys back to the WBE. This week we are going against my good friend Seabat Chase, coach of these Detroit Steel Wings. Him and I are both actually the only teams in the league without a win. We're both 0-6. We have a very similar differentials. I'm at negative 21, he's at negative 22, so we're both having a, a bit of a rough season, but uh, you know, it's all good. We're all having a good time, and I hope that you guys are having a good time watching me and Chase after this game. We'll come out with a victory. One of us. And I honestly, I don't mind who it is because honestly, it doesn't really matter who wins. We're not going to make the playoffs anyways. This league has just been kind of like a test. It's been fun. I know, I know I've been saying this the whole entire season. I know that I've been complaining a lot too. I apologize for those that, you know, get tired of hearing me talk about the timer. Or last week, I got really salty over a crit I, oh, against Wolfie. And again, I apologize for that. I don't like to play on tilt. I don't like to get frustrated. It's just a game and all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, but whenever the frustrations end up coming in and out, it's tough to, you know, get over that. And obviously, I played like utter shit because of it. So I do apologize for that. And, uh, you know, for everybody that just did watch that and did, co and did comment, um, I'm sorry for <laughs> you guys having to watch that, obviously. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the WBE for what it's worth and everything that's about it. Because I know I am, and I hope that you guys have been too. Either way, let's get into this match. Uh, I am bringing uh, Gigantamas, Kingler, Hydreigon, Mawa, Frostmaw, Tokikis, and Serena this week. Uh, Chase's team is Sanaconda. Uh, Gigantamax Seneca, I should say. Come all my Lodic, Braviary, Gloria Mr. Mime, Rebombi, Turtonator, Bolton, and Dublade. So he has a uh, pretty interesting team, but I feel like we have some parts of our teams, of our, our team that can, uh, you know, take his team not really down, but it can take it apart a little. I can pick it apart. So, um, yeah, let's get on to uh, what we're bringing this week. So first of all, we're bringing uh, Dragonmas Kingler with a life orb. Looking nice and dandy with the Sheer Force. Liquidation, Superpower, X, Scissor, and Substitute. So uh, basically, our thought process is we can either substitute or we can have substitute while we're, uh, you know, Gigantamax as a way to have um, Max... Um, the, the move to protect. I'm forgetting the move that it's called. Uh, but yeah, the, the move to basically protect... Um, so that way, if he's, let's say, uh, Gigantamax Anaconda, we can uh, end up um, using it against him. Kind of like if he has a turn already used and we want to basically um, just completely stall out the rest of his turns, or if he has one turn left, let's say, we can end up just going for the, you know, Gigantamax, uh, you know, and then just waste one of our turns, waste his last turn, and then obliterate him with our liquidation, or whatever the case may be. Uh, just, you know, a way to kind of get around him and obviously outspeed him because... Sanaconda won't be faster than Kingler, which is pretty nice. And it's nice that our uh, Gigantamax obviously is better than his Gigantamax, I guess, like head uh, head to head. They're not better, but like, you know, head to head, Dragonmax Kingler does have the advantage over uh, Gigantamax Sanaconda. So, yeah, we're bringing this thing to be pretty fast and uh, to be able to outspeed things that, uh, you know, pretty much just about get uh, very, very close to the uh, speed tier. Next up, we have Togekiss. Choice Scarf this week with Serene Grace, obviously, with Air Slash, Shadow Ball, Trick, Baton Pass, Rocking the Timid Nature. Uh, just a nice little way to uh, Scarf and uh, outspeed whatever is basically that, you know, Scarf itself. Um, we have Trick in case he wants to go into things like Dewblade or if he wants to go into, like, Milotic. Uh, I don't think they want to be Scarfed at all. Not to mention getting rid of an Eevee Light on a Dewblade really does deteriorate and make it a lot worse. And, uh, yeah, honestly, the uh, trick can be a little uh, risky, but um, it can work out in case he does switch into things like Dewblade or things like Milotic that can eat up hits pretty darn well. And the top pass, obviously, just to kind of get that pivot. Pivoting is really nice. Uh, unfortunately, with the timer, it can eat up the timer a lot. But... Um, I feel like I work really well with this team whenever I do pivot. So I'm going to try my best not to, uh, you know, drag out my turns too much. I'm going to try to kind of just come to a consensus. If it ends up costing me the match at this point, I don't really care anymore. I'm tired of complaining about the timer. So I'm just going to kind of just go with it. <laughs> I apologize again about how much I complained about it. But it really, I hope if I hope they give us a rule set or something. Because it's been very much the worst part about this meta for me by far. Right, so we got ourselves Hydreigon coming back with leftovers, uh, rocking the beautiful timid nature as well. Bring a nice little fast team this week. Nasty Pond substitute Dragon Pulse and Dark Pulse. So just kind of bringing the stabs, and then uh, you know we're bringing basically what we we're about last week with the Nasty Pot and substitute. Uh, there's no ditto to you know fuck us over this week, so I guess that's pretty nice. I'm just gonna make sure that we are bringing this. I'm just this is like basically the same thing that I brought last week. I'm just making sure, but yeah, this is a 
We're basically we're bringing the same as like uh, type of Hydreigon and uh, yeah. Next up, we got John Breaker, uh, the Mawile. Mawile has been surprising everybody. Every single opponent that I brought this against so far, I said that it's been a good bring. I I, I love Mawile. I, I've liked I've liked it ever since uh, I saw it in the anime. Actually, the fact that it has like the cute side and then the back side that just it kind of has its own like personality. You know, the little crunchy crunch fella and. Like, whenever they made a fairy and they brought the Mega, I just liked Mawile even more. So, I'm just happy to see that it's putting in work for me. Intimidate, obviously, is such a good ability. But this week, we're actually not bringing Intimidate. We're bringing Sure Force because he has uh, two mods that can benefit off of um, stat lowering capabilities, which are my Load Equip Competitive, which I doubt he's going to bring. He's probably going to bring uh, Marvel Skill. But the biggest thing is the Fine Braviary, which is more than likely going to come. That's just, it's going to come. And I don't want to let Braviary go plus one because Braviary on his team is already such a freaking menace. So we're bringing uh, Sheer Force just to uh, boost some of our moves. And our only move actually is going to be play rough because it's just... We're, we're not really bringing this thing to be offensive. We're bringing this to just kind of put up rocks and just pivot. And be a, just be, be annoying. It's impish nature. It's bulky. It's going to be able to take on physical hits. Despite not having Intimidate, it still can eat up hits pretty well. Uh, Stalder, Baton Pass, Taunt, and Player Off. Just, you know... The typical, the typical set. My wild is not going to be as good as it has been, I think. But, hey, it's all good. I think that I can still put in some work in this uh, week. Next up, we got Shakira the Sarina. A uh, choice banded set with Jolly Nature, Quilly Majesty, Power Up, Player Off, High Jump Kick, u Just four moves, choice band. Um, honestly, this thing uh, kind of puts in work. It's speed tier. Uh, kind of allows it to just not have to worry about running any sort of scarf or running any sort of other thing. Just run it fully uh, speedy and just kind of go from there. Um, like I said, it's Jolly, Mass Attack, Max Speed. And uh, honestly, yeah, I mean, Serena is just a really cool Pokemon. And I, um, I sometimes think it's faster than it is. I have to remember this base 72. I made that mistake against Dredna, against Duncan, so... Gotta be better about that. Um, but yeah, last but not least, we got Frostmoth, uh, Heavy Duty Boots, which is very essential for this thing. Ice Skills to boost that special defense, Defog, Quiver Dance, Giga Drain, and Ice Beam. So, obviously, uh, Heavy Duty Boots makes this thing not too bad whenever it comes to hazard removal, which is pretty nice. Um, in case we don't have our own rocks up, even if we do have our rocks, even if we do have our own rocks up, in case he has uh, more of an advantage of getting hazards up, we have the Defog. And, and uh, fortunately for us, he actually doesn't have uh, the best hazard setters on his team, so I'm not really too worried about having to click Defog, but just in case, uh, we didn't really have a better fourth move. So, we have Quiver Dance, Giga Drain, Ice Beam, and Defog. We don't really need any uh reason to bring bug buzz this week and uh yeah that's our team pretty much going into this week obviously it's modest nature as well this thing's not fast i wish it was if this thing was fast then my god it'd be beautiful but one quiver and this thing can kind of put in some work so uh yeah that's our team and uh let's uh join up with my man seabat so i'm gonna be going to a convention um called pax east this week so i just want to say a huge shout out to my boy seabat for um organizing to play early we're literally playing on monday and we're uploading on saturday so like we're, uh, we're we're recording like really early and chase really helped me with this so again huge shout out to chase make sure you guys check him out he's fucking amazing i love this man to death either way let's get right into this battle i am excited man one of us is gonna get a win if chase gets the win then yo honestly honestly i'm okay with that i'm okay with that all right let's see what this man is bringing though i'm i'm feeling if he brings bolts in it's gonna kind of suck because we're, we're kind of building this team that he, you know, in a way where he doesn't bring Bolton. Because we have things like Raichu. We have just Mons that, like, can deal with Bolton. We're not bringing a lot of the Mons that can deal with Bolton. But, you know, a lot of our team can. So, I'm just I'm going to hope. I'm just going to hope. <laughs> but let's see what he's going to bring, man. Let's see what he's going to bring. Okay, so he is bringing... Okay, he's not bringing Bolton. That's, like, literally, like, the first thing I was looking at. Okay, so we brought Vileplume. Okay, I completely forgot about... Yeah, I... I was I was thinking that he would bring Vile Plume, and then it just completely dodged my mind that he would even have Vile Plume whenever I was looking at the team. So he brings Anaconda, he brings the Coma, oh, he brings the Melodic, he brings the he doesn't bring Braviary. Oh my God, that's crazy. He brings Vile Plume instead. He brings okay, uh, okay, yeah. I mean that's kind of wild. Uh, all right, uh, that's cool. I guess. Okay, I I gotta kind of just I gotta kind of just come up with a game plan right now because he's he brought a few things I didn't think about. Um, if I'm being honest, um, hmm, what is he? What would he lead off with? 
I mean, he could lead off with Santa Conda and just start going off. Um, I've, I, I kind of just want to lead off with my Serena and just kind of U-turn. And kind of just depending on what he wants to go for. Because if I go Mawile and he leads off with the Santa Conda and just starts G-maxing going wild, then I don't really appreciate that. Um... I'm Troy Scarf. Actually, no, I'm, no, wait, I'm, I'm banded. Whoops. Okay, never mind. Honestly, I I, I, I kind of got my Toki Kiss and my Serena mixed up for a second. This is why I'm just not. My, 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 I'm just. I'm not. I am not equipped to battle this this season, man. Holy moly. Okay, he goes for Shirley. Okay, so he leads over the Santa Conda. That's fine, honestly. That's fine. So, Santa Conda, we outspeed by one. Um. I mean, if I'm being honest, I just go... F I, if he goes... Okay. I gotta make my decision. So, he's gonna... He's not gonna stay in. I highly doubt it. If he does stay in, then that kind of sucks. But, like, I, I could just... I could just switch it. I would... Okay. I, I could just switch out if he... If he stays in. I don't know why he would stay in, though. I don't know why he would stay in. I'm just gonna go for the U-turn. I'm just gonna go straight... I'm just gonna go straight for the U-turn. If he... If he stays in, then... Yeah. He's not gonna stay in. No way. He's gonna go to Vile Plume. He has to. Yeah. Um, I think I just straight up, uh, I think I straight up just go into my Togekiss over here. I just go for an Air Slash. Yeah, I mean, if he's AV, he lives, I think. But, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, that's kind of just my move. I, I could also go into my Mawile over here and set up rocks. Um, hmm. If I'm being honest, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go into my Togekiss and the Baton Pass. I honestly, I think that's just what I'm going to do. Because he, he probably just goes into his... Okay, so he's Black Slash. He's probably just going to go out into his Milotic over here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Baton Pass. Or I can go for Trick. I can also go for Trick. I think I'll leave Trick for later, though. Actually, I could just Trick right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Trick. Because that's the main thing I want to trick, right? Like, he doesn't have Braviary to switch in or whatever. If he stays in, he's an, he's, he's, a, he's a crazy man. He's, a, he's an insane individual uh, if he stays in. Oh, he did stay in. Wow. Um, that sucks. He's an insane individual. Um, that really sucks. And now I'm going to take damage, too. Okay, well, um... I'm very surprised he stayed in. I should have just gone for the Baton Pass. Um, this is what happens whenever I try to go cr with crazy plays. Um... Okay. At least I know he's Choice Scarf now. But I'm, back, I'm Black Sludge. Doesn't help me at all. I, I, I kind of just... I kind of just got rid of my... Tokikis for no reason. That really sucks. I outpl I outplay myself in these matches, man. I outplay myself in these matches. Wow. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And now he just G maxes. <sighs> Me and I. I kind of have to just go into my uh, Tokikis now. <laughs> Look at me losing the the game on the first turn or second turn. I I, I should have just baton pass. I could have I could have gotten really good. I could have gotten really good initiative. Baton passed into my uh my while. Like I I, I just have to, I have to play more safe. I can't I can't just be like oh he's I you know I'm gonna trick. There's no point of that. There's really no point of that. Okay, like he's gonna G Max over here. Like. Heck, dude. He's probably just gonna go for the rock move. Just to be safe. If he goes for the ground move, that's great, because he actually wastes the turn. Okay, so he does go for the ground move. That's okay, that's good. That's good. I can air slash him over here and potentially crit him. Or not crit him, I have flinch him. That'd be cool. Uh yeah, I mean I have no reason to keep my token alive at this point. I I wasted it. Hardcore. I'm gonna say it's earthquake. I'm gonna say that's Earthquake. Um, 
yeah, honestly, I, I just, yeah, I, I just, I, 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 it's not that bad right now. At the very least, he wasted his G-Max. He completely wasted his G-Max. So I'm going to die to, to Black Sludge. So Togekiss kills itself. Or, yeah, no, he kills itself. Oh, I, go, I went for Air Slash. This may just, maybe, this may just kill him. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's okay. It doesn't kill him, but we kill ourselves in the process. Um... Okay. I know he's scarfed. I know he has no way to kill me. I'm just gonna go for the rocks on this turn. He more than likely has um a rapid spin in his Galarian Mr. Mime. But that's not really the end of the world. I'm just gonna go for the rocks. So if he switches out over here and he doesn't go to the rocks, Valplum just dies to, uh, to entry. He's going to go for the lead seed. Okay, so he's locking himself with the lead seed. So if I taunt him, then he's dead. Or he doesn't, he's not really dead, but like, you know, <laughs> he's he becomes useless. He gets some HP back, so he's not going to die due to re-entry. But at least we got rocks up. Honestly, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I'm going to go for the taunt. I mean, no way he's going to stay in anyways, but depending on who he switches out into, I can taunt them. Oh, he's just going to stay in. Okay. Okay, so he has lead seed. He's taunted now. If he stays in, he's dead. Um. So who's, who's he going to go into right now? Who is he going to go into right now? He probably goes to Anaconda. He probably goes to Anaconda over here. In which case, honestly, honestly, I just go into my, hmm, it's either I go into Serena or I go into Kingler, if Santa kind of comes out. I'm probably just going to go into my, think, okay, here's, here's the thing, I'm just going to go into my Serena. Here's the thing about, I mean, if he goes into Rebombi, that really sucks. I don't think he goes into Rebombi, though. Like, here's the thing about Kingler, uh, whenever my Lotus around Kingler is not really gonna do much. Okay, he's just gonna sack this thing off. Okay. Does he outspeed me? I don't think Valpum outspeeds me, right? Um, so I wanna get, I wanna get a U-turn off. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go for a U-turn. I'm, I don't really want to show up too much of my set. Okay, so I'm going to kill him. Serena kills Valplum. So we kind of just neutralized our own Pokemon. But, like, just... Him getting rid of Togekiss is honestly way more of an issue. Okay, so what's my best switch in over here? I think my best switch in is probably to go into my Frostmoth. Yeah, Frostmoth's my best switch in. It's my, it's my best neutral switch in. Actually, no, he's gonna go into Como. Um, I really don't have a best switch in. I'm gonna go into Kingly. Um, like, my Lotus is probably just gonna come out over here, but, like,. It's good to kind of get like a nice idea of what kind of mon he has, or what kind of uh, Milotic he's gonna have. He's probably Marble Scale, I'd imagine. I doubt he's competitive. He's probably Flame Warp too. Um, which sucks. That thing is just such a such a wall. <laughs> I just if, if I went for Power over there, then he just switches into Rebombi. Rebombi has a chance to kill me, I think, because I did take Struggle Damage, which is kind of silly. <laughs> like, the Struggle Damage would actually, I think, help his role with Bug Buzz killing me. Nezuko. Okay, so he's going through Rambombi over here. Interesting. So if he's focused Sash, it's gone now. Um, Rambombi's kind of a monster. I don't think it has anything that it can do to my... Mawile, though? Like, it gets, like, Buck Buzz. Uh, it's Fairy Move. Um... 
I just, I don't want to deal with him. I just don't want to deal with him getting a quiver up for free. He goes for like a special move. It's going to hurt a lot. But like. I know I'm probably going to regret this. So I'm, I'm going to go to my Ma Wild. I don't want to deal with my Kingler taking a huge hit for no reason. I don't want to deal with that at all. He knows I have Taunt now, but like... Yeah, so he goes to the Bug West. I didn't think he would Quiver in my face. His one special hit would just kill him. Okay, so he's Bug Buzz. I didn't see any, like, Life Orb damage or whatever. Um... I think I'd kind of just go for the player off on this turn. This player off should do a decent amount of damage considering I'm um, sure force. It's not going to kill him, but it's going to be a 2-8 KO. And even if he quivers up over here, I'm still doing good damage. And if he switches out, I'm, I'm doing damage on something that he brings in. He's going to go to Shirley. So at least I'm getting some damage off on this thing, which is nice. And he can't G-Max anymore, which is super duper nice. And I have a chance of lowering... No, I know, you know. I'm Sheer Force. I was say, I have a chance of lowering his attack, but then I said I was Sheer Force. So I'm debunking my own statement. Um, so, at this point, like, he's not going to go for a ground move. I think I... Hmm. I'm going to go into my... I'm going to go into my Serena and just click Power Whip. Now that I have, now that I have, now that I have the damage and Rabombi, I can honestly kind of just power whip for free. He doesn't know that I'm banded. Power whip is very strong. He's, he's probably just gonna go into Como, honestly. I could just U-turn. That did a lot of damage. That was a crit. Okay, I was about to say that did so much damage. What the hell? Uh, I can go for the player off actually. That's my middle ground play. That's my middle ground play. I'm gonna go for the player of. If he goes into a bombi, he dies. The only problem with going for this is if he stays in, which he just did. Um, dang. That sucks. Uh, I, I kind of thought I'd just kill him over here. I kind of hope I'd just kill him. I should've just gone for the... I keep on saying this. I should've just gone for what I said I was gonna do in the first place. Uh, who's gonna go into now? Hinata, that's gonna be the Mr. Mime? Okay, no, he goes into Melodic. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna. S yeah, there is the Flame Orb. We're gonna, see, we're, we're gonna see the Flame Orb, but he's gonna go for a cover this turn. He knows that I'm Choice Banded. There's no way he'd go into this thing, like, otherwise. I could just go for Quiver Dance, though. He kind of leaves an opening. I mean, he probably has Haze, to be fair, though. He probably, has, he probably has haze. I'm just, I'm gonna go for it though. I'm gonna force him to go for the haze. I have no reason not to. I have literally no reason not to, unless this thing gets like some sort of crazy move. So he's flame orb, recover, probably scald and ice beam as well. Woo! Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go for the quiver. I mean. Why not? He doesn't have a lot to switch in on against me. Like, what is his Mr. Mime gonna do? Unless Mr. Mime gets, like, Flamethrower. <laughs> it, which obviously wouldn't. Um, yeah, he can't really touch me. He cannot really touch me. I'm just gonna go for the Quiver Dance. He's gonna actually withdraw, so he shows that I, he does not have the Haze. He goes back in the Shirley. So he's gonna go ahead and sack this thing off. Only allowing me to get one Quiver Dance off. Um... But honestly, like, I'm plus one. What, is he, what does he exactly do to me? I don't think he has anything to, to go against me. I mean, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. We should be able to just snag a kill over here. Frostmoth kills Sandaconda. His G-Max was neutralized early, and we have we still have our G-Max Kingler, which is super nice. He can't switch into King, uh, Como here either, which is very nice. He probably goes into Mr. Mime over here. I would imagine. Well, what is Mr. Mom going to do against me? It sucks that I don't have Bug Buzz in this situation. But he he doesn't have anything he can really do against me. Oh, he just switches back into this thing. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I think he maybe, rem maybe he remembered that he has Haze. 
I'm gonna go for career dance. Um, I guess I just want to see, like, if he has the haze. If he has the haze, I switch out. But, like, if he doesn't, then he literally loses, I think. I think he just loses if he doesn't. He does, okay. I was gonna say, there's no way he just come back in, but I think he shouldn't have switched out. I don't know why he switched out over there. I don't know why he switched out over there. That was a little weird. I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. I don't wanna, like, switch into my Serena on a nice beam. I wanna get a free switch into my Serena. So that way I can pressure him. That still does a lot of damage. Is that a crit? That's not a crit. I could stay in. I could stay in. Oh my god, that did so much damage. The only problem with doing this is that, like, I I'm I'm just I'm not gonna be fast anymore. Actually, no, he recut he outspeeds me. He outspeeds me. He outspeeds me. I'm gonna go for a quiver. I mean I'm gonna go for a quiver dance over here. Oh wait, do we oh no. Does he have Dragon Tail? Does he have Dragon Tail? No, he wouldn't go for Dragon Tail over here. Do we speed tie or something? I think we literally do we speed do we really speed tie? That's ridiculous. Okay. I mean I'm okay with knowing that though. I know that he can't just out recover me. Woo! Um, that's interesting. Cause last turn he recovered before I went for Giga Drain. Super interesting. So if I outspeed him on this turn, then he's dead. Super interesting. The fact that I speed tie with him. Woo! <laughs> I just love the crowd reactions. They're so awesome. I mean, I'm doing more damage to him now that I look at it. I have no reason not to just quiver. I have no reason not to just quiver. I'm doing more damage to him while going plus one. Like, I, I, I yeah, like, I have no reason not to just do this right now. There's no reason for me to just throw the game. Because this can win me the game if I just stay in and do what I'm doing right now. This just wins me the game. Because I'm forcing him in the position where he has to go for Haze and recover constantly. And I get my recovery back with Giga Drain. And I'm doing more damage to him than he's recovering while doing all this. There's no reason for me not to just do this. I'm sticking to my gut for once, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. After burn damage, this is going to leave him at like 10 HP. And then if I do this one more time, he's dead. He may just honestly switch out over here. But then I'm plus one. Yeah, he's like he's at like eight, ten HP. <laughs> um, woo! <laughs> I find I love this. I, that's like one thing I love about this game. I love the crowd reactions. They're so awesome. Just give me megas and make the timer better. And I I love this. This is great. A plus, a fucking plus. Do you think he hazes over here and lets the burn kill him? Now that I think about it, actually. Yeah. Okay. Good play. Good play. So now he's gonna die to the uh, burn, which is a, which is a suicide. So we have two suicides in this match. My Lodic kills itself because of flame orb. Okay, that was a good play. I, I I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. If I undersped him there. Then I, I, I would have been good. Actually, yeah. If I undersped him there, that would have been really nice for me. Because I'm, I'm guessing we do speed tie, right? Like, or maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping. Maybe comment section is going to, like, flame me. Be like, bro, are you stupid? <laughs> um, I don't know. He has to go into Como over here. And just kind of go out. Go all in. He has to just kind of go all in over here. Not having Togekiss really freaking sucks. I mean, it's nice to have Kingler around, though. Kingler is going to be my savior, I think, if he goes for, like, some crazy freaking move. Like, he's probably just going to Dragon Dance. Or does he have a move that just straight up kills me? Oh, he has Flamethrower. Okay, that probably just kills me. Okay, that does not probably just kill me. 
He's special. Really, really interesting and really good to know. And that just straight up kills him. Is that a crit? No, that just kills him. Okay. Wow, Frostmoth's a monster, dude. Frostmoth kills Como. And I think uh, that puts him in a really good position. So he can come in and revenge me. Honestly, I don't think he even revenges me. I don't know what kills me. I don't think where Bombi kills me. I mean, the, the burn probably kills me, but... um, Which the burn will go to my Lodic. Because it uses Scald and burn me. Um. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I. I don't think this thing kills me. Bug Buzz. I mean, I. I okay, Bug Buzz is a really strong move. I, I think I'm underestimating Bug Buzz, but I think I'm also underestimating uh, Frostmont's uh, special defense. It just took a fucking flamethrower. That's not sad, but like, it's a flamethrower from a pseudo legendary. Unless he was like mixed, it should have killed me, or at least it would have done more damage. Okay, that's coming. Okay. Rebombi kills Frostmoth. Okay. Okay. Uh. Now I just go into this thing. Um. This okay player probably doesn't kill from this range. He may just go for the uh, quiver dance. There's nothing I can really do about that, though. He switches out. He goes into Mr. Mime, which Mr. Mime is not going to appreciate uh, Sheer Force Play Rough right now. I don't think this thing appreciates a uh, Sheer Force Play Rough at all. No, it does not. Oh, it does not. It does not appreciate that whatsoever. Mawa's a monster. It does not appreciate that. Um, which is fine by me. He goes for the Reflect. Really interesting play. Really interesting play. We're gonna connect on another uh, player up and kill him. The crit mattered. Uh, <laughs> Mawal kills Mr. Mime. I think Mawal, I think Mawal wins. Uh, I don't see what this uh, Rabombi does behind Reflect. I guess he didn't have the Rapid Spin. I think that would have probably been the better play if he had it. I don't think he did though, because he definitely was. He definitely would have gone for it. Brings up his speed, gets rid of rocks, which really, really screw over uh, Rabombi. I think even with Reflect, player up should kill this thing. Rabombi's special or Rabombi's physical defense is really bad, and that rocks damage is just disgusting. And I think even if he goes plus one, he doesn't kill me. That, that's a crit, I think. Oh, that's not crit. Okay, I'm on. Okay, I'm underestimating uh, Herbombi here. I think I should kill him. Yeah. Okay, that's a win. GG to my boy Seabed. Um, I feel like I really screwed myself over in the beginning, but we uh, pulled it back together. I think that's a 4-0 victory. Sweet. Okay, that's. Hey, I'm happy I won. <laughs> I won a game, guys. <laughs> GG to my boy Seabed, though. Honestly, uh, one of my good buddies. He's like a brother to me, honestly. My boy Seabed, he's, like, he's like a twin. He's my freaking twin. Before the game, we're like talking and we're like just saying the same exact things to each other at the same time. Like, we have this connection, man. I love Chase. Chase go check out Chase, guys. He's an awesome sport. Really cool guy. Again, he battled me early, which maybe put him in even a disadvantage. I, I, don't, I don't know. But thanks so much, uh, Chase, for scheduling with me. And uh, thanks for the awesome battle, dude. I'm uh, sorry for, uh, you know, just short notice. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, honestly, that was a pretty clean game. I think that I just screwed up in the beginning. But um, regardless of losing Tokikus, my, you know, my, my new pickups, man. I'm just saying, Frostmoth and Mawile are monsters. Holy moly. But thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Next week, we're against Steve, aka Magnitude, coach of the Milwaukee Sass Bucks. And um, that'll be the final week of the season. So maybe we could go on a winning streak late in the season. Who knows? But either way, guys, catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. And peace out.